the mountains cold to dungeons deep and caverns old we marks the way a break of day What's up, me hearties? How's it going, everybody? This is T Reaper, and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys like that intro. I felt it fit the uh, the tone of this game, which is Sea of Thieves. Um, and uh, uh, thanks everybody for the new subscribers. Thanks so much for the comments. I always reply to you. If you comment on my videos, I reply to you. You know, if you say something nice, I'll say something nice back. If you try to troll me, I'll troll you back. You know, around and around the circle we go. But, yo, this game is absolutely fun as all hell. Uh, and uh, I've been playing this for uh, over 24 hours, which is why I haven't really been catching, uh, keeping up so much on YouTube. Uh, I've been so busy playing this game. I've been playing with a whole bunch of people. Uh, I can only play with four at a time, but it has been so much fun. And actually, in this gameplay, you'll actually see us kill the Kraken. Now, because either Rare or Microsoft wonderful technical difficulty issues we haven't been getting any achievements which really does suck so for the 24 hours i've already invested in this title please please microsoft if you hear me please rare if you hear me fix your achievement issue because we killed this thing and we faced this thing twi uh three times in since the game came out and we've actually finally beat it this actual uh this afternoon uh, or technically this morning um but no, this game is actually really a lot of fun. I didn't actually think I was actually going to have this much fun with the game or be this addicted to it. But it is legitly cool. And for, you know, hindsight, you know, for the little, uh, for the little, you know, uh, um, uh, Hobbit, um, music intro in the beginning when you saw me chasing, uh, saw the footage of that, um, going after that ship, we legitly chased that ship to the ends of the map and then it sunk itself. So we were legitly stalking this other player to the ends of the of the map, and then BAM! We made him run off the map, and he killed him. And we were so happy, it was awesome, I had to record that. Um, but no, like, uh, le legit, this game is a lot of fun. However, there, there are some critiques, as always, that I would like to, you know, point out to people. One, this game doesn't have a story. Uh, mainly, you know, it's basically contracts, you know, either, you know, pick up um, buried treasure, you kill skeletons, uh, or you legitly do what you see me doing now, which is um, when there's a big skull island, a uh, big skull cloud in the sky, you go into whatever is underneath it, and you legitly kill the living shit out of uh, either, you know, AI or other players who are trying to, it's like kind of like a raid, and if you kill all the skeletons, you kill the captain, you get a shit ton of loot from these uh, uh from these sections um and they are um uh, they they are random so whenever the cloud appears that's when you know you can actually do another one um and uh i'm like level 19 level 16 and like level 10 uh on my sections uh you know i you know i'm, I'm you know for the amount of time i invested in it's pretty good it does have some glitches though uh, one of the glitches, for example, is the achievements don't pop up, or still not popping up. Uh, the other glitches is if you buy a new weapon or equipment um, uh, with your gold, and it you know it doesn't seem to pop up in your inventory right away. So what you have to do is legitly back out of the game, uh, and then restart the game altogether. Um, and then if that doesn't work, you like uh, I actually had to 
I had to like totally restart my system and then it popped up. Uh, you know, other times, you know, you'll do a quest and you won't get gold right away and then, you know, you pop out of the server uh, and pop back in and then the gold refreshes itself and you get your gold back. Um, sometimes the combinations don't pop up right away. Um, you know, same difference, you know. You always seem to have to, re after, if you've been in a server for so many amount of hours, it seems with these, you know, technical difficulties as we'll call them, uh, it seems like the easiest way to fix them is just back out of the server and back back in. And Launch Night, I'll tell you, I don't think Microsoft or Rare was that intelligent when they designed this for crossplay, Game Pass, and a Microsoft exclusive because so many motherfuckers wanted to actually play this. I mean, come on, Microsoft. You're gonna, you, you're going to promote this for two something odd years and not expect people are gonna jump at something? Come on. Couldn't even get on a server for two and a half hours on launch night. That pissed me the fuck off. Um, but in hindsight, this game is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I see me playing this pretty much for the rest of the week until Far Cry 5 comes out. Then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of different types of types of fun. Um, but uh, my favorite gun to use in this uh, game is the sniper. I have the uh, the sovereign version of it, which is the gold uh, the gold version. I now actually also have a gold cutlass, which is pretty dope. Um, now the next thing I want to do is upgrade my outfit, and then the last thing I want to do is upgrade the appearance of my ship. Um, as for how I personally like to play, um, I personally like to play uh, in four-man teams with galleons. Uh, it would be kind of cool instead of four players, they increased it to six players. Um, because, you know, even when I have a four-man team, I still have an extra one or two people that, uh, you know, like to play. And, uh, quick shout-outs to, uh, um, my buddy Kaleidoscope. I played with him for, we were playing for something, 14-odd hours today. 14-odd hours. You know, shout-out to Hebot because, you know, he's like, ah, uh, Reaper, you don't play games. Well, we were playing this for a good 16-odd hours, to tell you that right now. And we were having a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, the other, you know... Uh, when you're not hunting skeletons, you're not collecting treasure. Um, the other thing I like to do is just go after enemy players. It's like seems to be the best fun in PvP. Uh, also, a lot, a lot of PC players on this. We, I've run into like four different types of randoms on crossplay, you know, platforms with PC. So this seems to be really evident. Um, some people are worried that you know PC players are going to ruin this game. I think they're going to help it. Um, and you know, so far they haven't been too much of a pain, although. We, you know, we have met our fair share of pain in the asses today, um, but uh, I would not recommend uh, that you play this game alone. Um, I would, you know, and of course if you try to play alone, it matches you with randoms anyway, but, you know, don't, you know, try to get a group of friends that you know and love to hang out with, you know, and this can be a really fun way to pass the time, and you'll have, actually have a lot of fun if you enjoy these types of um, types of adventures and this type of entertainment because this is really really fun I didn't actually think I'd say that you know but it is actually a lot of fun and I you know as soon as those achievements come back I'll be a lot happier but uh, so according to IGN they said they'll get that fixed by next week and there's a patch coming out tonight so um, sorry I haven't been you know so much responsive I've been so busy with this game and uh, Lucky, you know, lucky you can create your own adventures, so, you know, it doesn't follow a storyline, and it doesn't really, uh, you know, you can't really, can't really beat it, it's just, you know, achievement after achievement, but, um, uh, I, um, uh, I actually, I like how easy this game is to pick up and play, um, uh, and anybody, you know, and this can be either for casual play or, you know, the hardcore, because we, we met, we met some sweaties, we met some sweaties, legit, we were, um, we were going after this, this galleon, uh, or the sloop and what we did is they were on this island and what we did is we Legitly let them kill all the skeletons. We killed all of them We sank their ship and then we stole what they actually worked so hard for and then rushed our asses back to an outpost Which is where you trade in the loot and Got all the money for their credit, which was really funny. I'm like hey, what what's what's the good of being a pirate if you can't steal shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> grand theft, <laughs> grand theft, right? <laughs> you know, you know. It's just like, you know, uh, you know. What's the, you know, what's the, you know. That's the, that's what pirates teach you. It's like theft and stealing, you know, stealing from other pirates. And then, you know, other times we'd be, you know, we'd be being stalked by like midget ships, you know. And uh, the people that we stole it from eventually end up stalking us. But thanks to our our awesome driver, we actually evaded them all the way across the map. And we're still able to, you know, cash in the stuff that we originally stole, which was pretty funny. They were like, yo, 
You motherfuckers! You stole my shit! We worked so hard to kill those skeletons! Come back here! And, uh, it was just a lot of fun. Um, as for our rating, in the state that it's in, um, I, you know, if you don't have Game Pass and you're thinking about picking this game up or you don't have the game yet at all, um, wait till the bugs are all fixed is what I would say. But if you can deal with the bugs, pick it up. It's a lot of fun with friends um, and I'm certainly absolutely really enjoying it. Um, and uh, the, the, cannon, the cannon launch is actually really fun. Uh, getting used to it and the skeletons are pretty dope. I hope they more add more to this game. Uh, have a nice weekend everybody. Later. Peace.